All right, on this episode of They're About to Be Really Mad, we have a new rumor that's coming out where apparently there's going to be a TV show based on Harry Potter spinoff game Hogwarts Legacy at HBO Max. Yes, this is going to be something that apparently might go down. And if it goes down, I guarantee you it's going to be one of the biggest, the biggest woke yellings of all time. They're going to come out of the woodworks for this one. You're going to have people that you didn't even know exist just running out there and virtue signaling online about this TV show. If it's true, I don't know. Like I said, it is a rumor. We're not exactly sure if it's going to happen, but we have an article from Bounding Into Comics that goes into it a little bit more. So let's talk about it. It says, Controversy creates cash, including manufactured controversy. Hogwarts Legacy, the prequel fantasy game spun out of Harry Potter books and films, gets a cold reception from a segment of critics who now despise creator jk rowling but it's doing well sales wise with gamers regardless of the platform some of them became harry potter fans overnight eager to catch up on their reading and movie viewing warner brothers must be paying attention and seeing an opportunity as the trusted and reliable sources of giant freaking robot a source for all kinds of exclusives says a hogwarts legacy based series is in development at hbo max in very early development at that the series is still in the early phases of development so few details are available they say now Again, it's a rumor. Take it with a grain of salt. We don't know if it's actually factual. But the thing is, I could see this happening. I could absolutely see this happening. Because, listen, number one, Last of Us has a recent uh, depiction that obviously was, you know, adapted by HBO Max and was fairly successful up until they told people, if you don't like it, don't watch it. At that point, we're going to see what happens with season two. But it wouldn't surprise me if Hogwarts Legacy would be adapted. I mean, they have everything available. They have literally everything available. They have the story that's available. They have literally an open world that they can explore. They Harry Potter universe is open-ended for the most part. They can make up whatever at this point. And J.K. Rowling would most likely be involved with the TV show versus the actual video game. But I promise you, if they are going to come out with this TV series, it is going to be an absolute woke disaster in the sense that you're going to have people coming out from the woodwork uh, who are extremely woke and they're going to try their damnness to take this TV show down. And I guarantee you, here's the funny thing. They're not going to be accused of review bombing. They will review bomb the show, but they're never going to be accused of doing so. It only ever seems to go the other way. I don't really know why that is other than, you know, the obvious. But let's see what else it has to say regarding this. So it says, it's presumed though that the series will be like the game and take place in the 1800s before either the adventures of Harry or Newt Scamander of the Fantastic Beats series. It's the hot selling open world release. Players control a student at Hogwarts of witchcraft and wizardry who has an exceptional, however, untapped mastery of ancient magic. Released for PS5, Xbox Series X and S and PC on February 10th, it sold a very strong 12 million units to rake in an impressive 850 million globally in just two weeks. That is WB Games' biggest launch ever, and the releases for PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch are still on the horizon. DLC expansions, however, are not. Players with the systems mentioned have the freedom to pick a house other than Gryffindor, Potter and Friends' alma mater, and also explore Hogwarts to a greater degree, as well as Hogsmeade. Legacy comes with its perks, but also under fire for a few reasons. Critics lodged the game as anti semitic because of his goblin tribe of rebellious bankers. Now, again, we, we went into this whole drama about Hogwarts Legacy. We were one of the first people to stream Hogwarts Legacy. We beat it. We had a lot of fun. It started the whole Adventures of a Bigot series. I have no regrets about Hogwarts Legacy. It's a fantastic, fantastic game with a great story from beginning to end with massive amounts of detail, the likes of which only a Harry Potter true fan is going to truly appreciate. But even if you're not a Harry Potter fan, you could definitely appreciate the love that went into crafting that particular game. But the problem is you have a lot of people who are a huge, huge vocal minority on Twitter or online in general, they want to come out and pretend like this game is controversial when it's really not. The only people who find it controversial are the controversial people themselves. They're the ones causing the problems. They're the ones causing the ruckus, and they have no other reason to in, in, to enter this space other than to cause issues for everybody else trying to enjoy themselves. So as a whole, the game is amazing, and I highly recommend if you haven't played it to go pick it up. Uh, that's without a doubt, but it, it all this complaining from the woke people is not going to stop the game from succeeding. Obviously, the game's almost at a billion dollars, and we haven't even touched the other markets yet. So imagine what's going to happen when the other systems are uh, releasing the game. It's going to be insane. It says, as the gamer explained to some critics, putting them in a position in which they are oppressed, race uh, being further persecuted by the game hero was one dark bridge too far, GFR notes. Aside from that, J.K. Rowling's comments about gender that are viewed as transphobic continue to haunt her in the mainstream, which keeps her in a pariah status. Add to that the decline and failure of Fantastic Beasts as a franchise, owing to the legal drama Johnny Depp was swept in and it resulted in his firing, and you have an awkward circumstances for Hogwarts Legacy to release under and find success. There is a pirate boycott of 
of the game by those who disagree with Rowling and perhaps don't emphasize or uh, emphasize with Depp. I'm sorry, but Johnny Depp as Grindelwald was fantastic. He he embodied Grindelwald and he was a great actor for the role. And when he got removed from that role, uh, Fantastic Beasts went with him, unfortunately. So that's just how it goes. When Johnny Depp plays a role, it's very difficult to replace him. Very difficult. He embodies the role. He creates that character. He becomes that character. And that's why he's such a fantastic actor. So when you remove him, it's you're, you might as well just not even continue with the, uh, with the story. You might as well just either reboot it completely or just let it die because there's no way you're going to replace him successfully. It says it hasn't hurt the game. It may have had the opposite effect. This apparently rings as good news for the tepid WB who has been sending mixed signals pertaining to the Wizarding World. They want to distance themselves and Ezra Miller from Fantastic Beasts, but believe in the larger IP enough to promise more content whether something is in the works or not. Now, again, I don't really know if something is actually in the works. This is a rumor. This is a trans character, by the way, in the game, which is hilarious. Um, I don't really know if it's really going to happen or not. It is a rumor at the end of the day, and it's something that you have to take with a grain of salt. But again, would it surprise anybody if, if this was made into a TV show? Absolutely not. You can make multiple seasons based off the story that's found within Hogwarts Legacy. Hogwarts Legacy itself is such a vast and open world game. It really is. And the stories, you have a bunch of side quests that actually have good stories to them. They're not just meaningless side quests. I mean, there are some of those, but the, most of them are actually pretty meaningful and they provide good story and good context. And they also teach you spells and whatnot. So you have to do them. And the characters are actually very interesting, like Sebastian in the background over there. Very interesting characters. So can you make Make it into a TV show? Absolutely. You can get a few seasons out of Hogwarts Legacy all day long, and the setting would make sense. It would be something fun to explore, I think, for basically anybody, even not, not necessarily just Harry Potter fans as a whole, but anybody. Anybody would be interested in seeing this go down, obviously, because the game has sold so many copies, and we haven't even touched the previous gen market yet. So once we do that, the game is going to make over a billion dollars very easily. We're not even talking DLC, merchandise, anything like that. The game is obviously super successful, so it wouldn't surprise me if WB actually wants to pick this up the only problem with warner brothers picking it up is that we see what they do with their tv shows right we see what they do with certain shows i mean warner brothers or hbo max as a whole is on is on a completely like it has an identity crisis you have you have velma on one hand uh that was made by hbo max and then you have the last of us even though the last of us has now shown its true colors still up until this point it seemed like completely opposite uh, ends of the spectrum. It was, you know, you have one show that was focusing on source material and you had the other show that was absolutely obliterating source material. So it really didn't make any sense. And no matter what people say about The Last of Us, ultimately it is following the source material for the most part. So you can't really put it in the same boat as Vama, but it's still on two opposite ends of the spectrum. So... Who knows what they're really going to do with Hogwarts Legacy? I really don't know if it's going to be any good uh, when it's adapted into a TV show, if it ever is. But if it is, you bet your ass I will be one of the first ones to view it to see if it's actually any good or not. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy. And if you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.